Hey there folks, today's battle is against Cortex Nebula 200, it's a UU battle. Looking at his team, I'm gonna want that Sableye Toxic as well as his uh, Suicune and his um, Shaman, so I'm really gonna want those Toxic Spikes out, even though he's got that Clay Doll to rapid spin him away. He actually leads off with his Honchkrow, which I think is okay because I can just go for the Sleep Powder, unfortunately it misses. At least he didn't go for the Brave Bird first turn, um, and my Focus Sash is still intact, so there's still a chance that I can set up two rounds of Toxic Spikes. I go for the first round, that's excellent, hoping maybe he went for the Sucker Punch, he doesn't. He, go, he goes for the Brave Bird, he's gonna get me down to 1 HP, and then I realize I don't really want this thing to have a Moxie boost, although it would be nice to have two rounds of Toxic Spikes up. Um, but I decided, yeah, it's probably a better idea for me to switch out. And so I call back Alkabon and go out into Pazuzu, my Zapdos, uh, who will resist the Brave Bird and is physically defensive. Um, by the way, I've started the process of trying to come up with what I'm going to do with this team. Um, based on how it had been performing, I've been leaning towards a complete re uh, redo of this team. Um, but I'm just having a lot of trouble coming up with something that I like. Anyway, I go for the Roar, so he loses the sub. That's nice. Unfortunately, goes out into Claydol, who's going to be able to Rapid Spin away the rocks. Although I do have a Spin Blogger, so I'm expecting the Rapid Spin. going to go out into Ikea um, as he goes for the Stealth Rock. So, oh well. Not the worst thing that could happen. Um, definitely not the best, though. I go for a Shadow Ball, hoping that it can take it out. I'm not sure whether it can... Um, I guess not. Uh, hoping now I can survive the Earthquake considering it is a Clay Doll and unless he had attack investment I doubt he could really take me out. So I survive with 73 HP up to 89. Um, that's going to be, a, I think that's going to be enough for me to even set up a sub if I needed to. Uh, here he's going to go ahead and withdraw, go out into Suicune as I go, uh, as, get him poisoned which is nice although it's not toxic and it's almost certainly a Crocoon. Um, you know, Chesto Resto. Uh, get the special defense drop which is nice. Um, and here I'm just going to go ahead and sub on the next turn, uh, just hoping that he's going to go for the rest. Uh, so here I do go, I go for the sub. Uh, my opponent does in fact go for the rest, and so, so far this is going extremely well, uh, because I can pain split on the next turn, get my health up to, I'm not sure if I can get up to full, but I can get up pretty high. Uh, and it, so this isn't actually a Crocoon, this is running probably Sleep Talk Leftovers. Um, and so what I'm hoping is that his Sleep Talk will select Rest at least one turn. Um, now it could be that he carries the uh, Whirlwind as the other move, uh, but that's fine considering even though I lose the sub, I'm back up to basically full HP. So uh, yeah, my sub fades, and I decide, what the hell, I'm going to stay in, uh, and I'm going to go for the sub and just hope that he selects a move that's not, um, that's not Scald. So uh, he stays asleep, goes for Sleep Talk, and I'm like, come on, just anything but Scald. Anything but Scald is fine, and he selects Scald again. So that's really lame. One in nine chance that he would select Scald twice in a row. I, I mean, assuming that he uh, doesn't, he is actually carrying four moves. But I'm just, I'm cranky, I'm cranky, cranky. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and withdraw Ikea here, go out into Zapdos, as he's going to wake up this turn. Um... So, yeah, really lame. Uh, now he's going to go for the Scald against Pazuzu. Pazuzu's not going to resist it, but I don't expect to do that much. Unfortunately, I get burned. Less than fortunate, but he's got a special defense drop. I'm thinking if he doesn't switch out, I think I can take it out with a Thunderbolt. So, going to stay in, go for the T-Bolt, hopefully take out Suicune. And I'm like, come on, come on, it's super effective. And I do take him out thanks to the special defense drop. So, awesome sauce. Uh, Pazuzu is down now pretty low, and that burn is just taking me down lower and lower. Um, but I think I have just enough health to survive switching in again. Um, so, Sableye being... Uh, no, I, I just I just realized I, I, if I switched it in, it would have basically no health. So what I'm going to try to do before I switch out is go for a Roost. Unfortunately, I hit myself in the confusion. Uh, damn Sableye of extremely annoying set. So now I'm really stuck because uh, I can't switch out. Uh, now he's going to go for the sub and I'm like, come on, Roost, pull on, can I please pull off a Roost? And I do. Luckily he doesn't appear to be running a taunting set, um, which is nice. So back up to over half, going to be about half after the... Um, the burn damage, but it's going to mean that I'm going to be able to switch out, go out into Umbreon, 
get off a heal bell, and uh, be able to save my Zapdos for later. So yeah, gonna withdraw, gonna go out into Umbreon, um, and this is gonna, this is really a good situation for me. He's gonna recover, I don't care, he can do whatever the hell he wants. Um, he doesn't appear to be running Taunt though, so that's nice. Um, means that I can get off curses, I can really do whatever the hell I want. He's gonna go out into Cobalion here, as I go for the heal belt. So I guess he was predicting a payback and hoping to get a justified boost. That's not gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna switch out, gonna go out into El Cabong as Death Fodder was expecting him just to go for a close combat or something like that. Unfortunately he doesn't and he goes for a Swords Dance. That is not good, because I don't, I mean, okay, so I've got Pazuzu, I guess, well, okay, so I send out Mikhail, Mikhail first, um, hoping that, you know, uh, knowing that I can resist a close combat, he goes for the Iron Head, at plus two I can't survive that, even though I'm running 252 HP, uh, maybe not 252, but it's close to max HP. I'm gonna go out into Ikea here, um, hope he doesn't run the, um... I'm uh, hoping he doesn't run the Stone Edge. Doesn't appear that he runs the Stone Edge, but uh, he is still going to get taken out from a plus two um, life orbed uh, close, co not close combat, Iron Head. Going to go out into Lusitania, my uh, Durant. I go for the Iron Head here, hoping for the flinch. Uh, just only hope I have. By the way, Durant gets superpower in Black and White 2. I am loving it. In my playtesting, I'm really not satisfied with my team, but. The, my version of this Durant now has superpower and it wrecks everything. It's amazing. I love it, love it, love it. So um, here, I, I, even though I resist the Iron Head, I, I actually survive. I was really surprised I survived. But I get flinched! Why? Why? I could have gone for the Heat Wave, taken him out. Actually, Thunderbolt would have probably taken him out in that range, but oh, so frustrating. So yeah, now I'm down to my last Pokemon, which is Umbreon obviously going to be taken out by a close combat. Um, so, great game uh, opponent who had a long name that I'm forgetting now. But anyway, a great game. Uh, sorry I let you sweep me with a Kabbalion. Folks, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. And hopefully when I redo this team, it'll be a lot better. So long, folks.